for obvious reasons. Today's vlog will be about how the curly girl method is going and what happens when you try Facebook suggested and YouTube suggested hair styling methods such as sleeping with your hair wet and in your microfiber towel. I do not normally wake up looking like Medusa. Back in a minute. Good morning. Really early in the morning. <clears throat> My too cute, too sweet dog who is now back over there asleep on the couch woke me up before daylight this morning. So, experiment number two with curly girl stuff found on the internet. Instead of sleeping with it in the turby twisty towel, you're supposed to sleep with it plopped in t-shirt. Now, how you do this is the head part of the t-shirt is right here on your forehead. You pile all your hair up in the middle of the t-shirt, pull the bottom of it over your head, tuck it under, and then pull the sleeves around and tie them right here on your forehead and not on your hair, and you sleep like that, or you leave it up there as long as you can. So, we're going to take this off. First, we're going to have some coffee, then we're going to take this off and see how this one works. Curly Girl Hack, found on the internet, number two. Okay, so I took the t-shirt out of my hair and so far all I've done is just kind of sh shake my hands through it like this and I have to say this one is not as nearly as much of a disaster as the other one was. I still don't really have a curl cast and the back of it I think is really not great at all. It's kind of flat and I don't sleep on the back of my head. I actually sleep on this side of my head. I think that if I had done this t-shirt method and just left it up for about an hour and tuck it down, I would have had a lot more curl cast. I don't know. Um, I'm surprised at the amount of moisture that's still in my hair. It's still pretty wet, but normally my hair takes a really long time to dry. Um, you are supposed to, at this point, diffuse it dry. This is Alabama in the summer. The calendar may say it's September, but in the south, the only thing that changes in September is the page of your calendar. It's still a million degrees outside, and I'm not bringing that air dryer. So once this has a time to air dry and I can scrunch the crunch a little bit, we'll take another look. But so far, I don't think this is a bad idea. I just don't think I should sleep in it like the internet thing said. So. This is Curly Girl Internet Hair Thing number two. Back later. Okay, so now it has air dried. I have tried to scrunch it as much as I can. So while sleeping with it tied up in the t-shirt method is not as horrifying as sleeping with it wet up in a turby towel I'm still not fond of it now I have seen some of them on YouTube that will tie it up in the t-shirt with it dry and already all the way they like it and sleep with it that way just to keep your style up but I don't think sleeping with it wet is a good idea not for me anyway so that was method number two not as bad as method number one but still not something I'll be doing again Okay, I tried the t-shirt method again. This time I only left it on there for about an hour. Um, it's still damp. That looks like. And this is always Maui Moist products, but it's extremely humid here because Tropical Storm slash Hurricane Sally is about to make landfall them the next day or so, so it's super humid. And that makes it a little worse but this I think worked better so 
trick maybe is to just leave it on for a shorter amount of time. I don't know. We'll keep trying. Okay, YouTube hair trick number three. This is the result of using Cantu hair products, C-A-N-T-U. It's terrible. I mean, I don't know about you or most people, but I can tell while my hair is still wet what it's going to be like. It feels tacky, like there's glue in my hair. It is stuck to my head. It has no curl cast, no volume. This is terrible. I have to go to the grocery store, so I'm about to pull it up in a ponytail. On to the next thing. Okay, so today is kind of a hodgepodge of everything because I got one of those lovely notices that says your shipment has been delayed and I'm out of my Maui Moist. So what we have today is a shampoo with As I Am Coconut Co-Wash, which I don't like to use unless I'm going to blow dry my hair because it kind of weighs it down a little bit. Then we have some coconut shampoo conditioner for a leave-in conditioner. I can't think of the name of it. I think it's OXY or something like that. Um, we have some Cantu curl cream, some Lange curl cream and root booster, and a Cantu curl activator. I did use the diffuser on it a little bit this morning because we had a tiny bit of a curly, uh, cooler day, which means when I woke up it was 75 instead of 85. Not really cool, but this is the south. Um, I'm not happy about the back of it at all. And it does tend to still feel a little bit sticky, and I think that's the can too. Um, I just need my, my Maui Boy stuff to get here. I did wrap it in the t-shirt, um, plop it in the t-shirt and left it for about an hour and a half and then I diffused it the rest of the way with my little fingers on the hair dryer so I don't know. Okay, real quick, very early this morning. This is another one I saw on Instagram. You take this, slide all your hair in it, sleep with your hair like this in it. It's supposed to protect your curls. Then you put your shower cap over this to take your shower to keep your hair dryer and then take it all off. So we'll be back to see what it looks like after we shower. Good morning. Okay, so this is the result of the putting it in what I call a tube, sleeping in it with the face thing over your head. Um, it's actually not bad. I think I will try that again. Um, I think it would be better if my regular Maui Moist or Giovanni products were here, but because they're not, I did have to use the Cantu Comeback Curl, because once you take it out of that face shield is what I call it, I don't know what it is, the tube. I'll link the link down below where you can get it. Um, it just needed a little refreshing. It did not need, like it normally does in the mornings, to be completely wet in the shower and redone. So I did have to dampen it a little bit. And what I did was put water in my hands and spray the Cantu Comeback Curl in my hands and then just rubbed it through my hair. Now, the Cantu Curl stuff is a little sticky for my liking. So I think if my regular stuff was here, it would come out better. It is also pouring down rain today. It's been raining since last night, so it's super humid. My hair is naturally kinky and frizzy and dry, so it's going to reflect that when we have bad weather. But I think so far this is the best Instagram, Facebook, Curly Girl method hack I have found. And I'll try to remember to leave a link down below to the channel on Instagram where I got this idea. Because so far this one's a winner. Okay, so... This is day three hair, using this, or day four hair, four. I've never gone four days without washing over four. Using the same method. <coughs> it's also day four hair because my husband and I have both been extremely sick and I'm just not washing it. Using this, which is actually a face shield. Put it down over your head onto your neck. I gather all my hair that I can up on the top and then pull this over my head so that it comes around here. The rest of my hair is in it back here. 
And then when I shower, I just put the shower cap over it to keep it dry. <clears throat> to refresh it, I've been using this can to come back curl. You know, I'm not a big fan of can too. I think it makes my hair feel sticky. But in this instance, it's kind of all I have because my shipment's still not here, so it's worked. Um, it's been affected by humidity with all the rain we've had. It's time to have it colored and cut, so the trim is not very fresh, and that does affect how my curls bounce back. But I would say out of all of these that I have tried, this has been the methods that's worked for me. So I'm going to end this one right here, and I will be continuing to try some more Facebook and Instagram hacks. I'll try to remember to leave the link to these and to the Instagram page that I found the idea on down below. See you next time.